हेलो नमस्ते अस्सलाम वालेकुम वरकम एंड खम्मा घनी टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू टुडेज क्लास एंड टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आईसीएससी ग्रेड टेंथ एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट माइंड मैप्स ओके एंड द टॉपिक टुडे इज जीएसटी एंड बैंकिंग सो दीज आर द टू टॉपिक्स व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डू एंड वी आर टू गोइंग टू क्रिएट सम माइंड मैप्स सो दैट for the last moment revision if you have to only go through the formulas and what and all are the concepts in this chapter you can refer to this videos okay so before i start if you are the one who are who is facing difficulty in uh, uh, in your studies if you think that school is not sufficient for you you need something extra so you can join vedantu because of awesome features are there and you can join as you can attend as many classes as you want all notes you can download any topic you want to study you can study it any time you want so the link for registration is mentioned in the description box of this video what you need to do is just apply the coupon code gp pro sorry the coupon code is gpe pro once you apply this coupon code gpe pro this will give you 20 percentage off okay so now first chapter will be starting here that is goods and service services tax that is gst goods and service tax okay so first thing we need to understand goods service and taxes what does it mean okay so goods is every physical object that can be used okay any anything suppose if i have a water bottle so this is a good for me if i have a milk container that is a good for me so any physical thing which you can touch and which can be used will be called goods okay so remember goods does not include money and securities security bonds or money it doesn't come under goods it has to be something other than money or securities which can be used so it is called goods services means anything other than goods money and security services means suppose if i am teaching you okay suppose if i am teaching you or suppose if you are going to your school so school is providing you education now education is not some physical thing you are getting my point but your father or your parents are paying the uh, the tuition fee at school so you are paying the services you are paying for the services offered by the school okay then comes the taxes so there are two kinds of taxes one is direct tax other is indirect tax so direct tax means the the tax which is collected uh, the one who pays the tax only will will be paying the tax to the government suppose income tax so when i will pay income tax for my earning i am the one who is submitting the tax who is who is depositing the tax to the government who is submitting the tax to the government if i am paying my income tax i am submitting my tax to the government so it is a direct tax government knows from whom this tax is coming the second is indirect tax here the one who is paying the tax does not directly submit it to the government but it it goes through someone else for example suppose i have bought this bottle now suppose this bottle is of say 100 rupees and i have paid 10 rupees as tax so i have total paid 110 rupees to the shopkeeper wherever i have bought now that shopkeeper will submit this 10 rupees to the government so the government will only get to know how much tax they have got they will not know who has paid for this tax you are getting my point so indirect tax means the one who is paying the tax will not directly submit it to the government but it will go through someone else your dealer shopkeepers wholesalers but in direct tax the one who is paying the tax will directly submit it to the government like income tax or corporate tax in these companies directly paid to the government so these are the two kinds of taxes now gst is an example of indirect tax gst is an example of indirect tax earlier we had lots and lots of indirect tax taxes there were many uh, minute indirect taxes and state used to apply their own taxes as well so uh, vat excise duty etc etc there were many indirect taxes so now what we have done we have removed all the indirect taxes and only one quantity is there that is gst so this is a unified tax system okay so the different terms which are used over here is first is cost price or basic price that is the price at which the seller or the trader or the shopkeeper will buy that good suppose if i am a seller okay i have a shop of let's say bottles okay so at by this this bottles i am acquiring from some company so the price at which i buy it from the company will be the cost price when i will be selling it okay so the cost price is the price at which the shopkeeper buys the item okay and the price at which the shop shopkeeper sells the item that will be your selling price okay dealer or shopkeeper the person who buys good services to sell it to the consumer okay i'll buy it from wholesaler and i give it to the consumer discount discount is certain percentage offer given 
to reduce the prices okay this is uh, this can be anything okay it will be given in the question mark price or list price is the price which is uh, say pasted on this bottle you have seen the mrp so mrp is your marked price or we also call it as list price okay and then selling price so remember selling price is equal to your mark price minus the discount or your list price minus the discount got it suppose if the mrp on this bottle is of 100 rupees if i give you 10 rupees discount you will only pay me 90 rupees 100 minus 10 simple thing okay now gst may better there are see the components are first thing it is a consumption based tax which levied upon buy or transfer of goods so when you buy or transfer some goods or services on that the tax is uh, applicable and it is a consumption based tax that means the one who will be consuming will be paying the whole tax okay it has replaced all former indirect taxes so remember gst is an indirect tax gst is an indirect tax okay after that the next thing gst and tax services may how do you share the tax how the tax which is submitted how that is shared so there are two kinds of movement one is intrastate that means within the state within the state suppose i am in rajasthan right now so if i bought some uh, some items from jaipur and i'm selling it in jodhpur so i'm doing the business within the state so that is called intrastate one is interstate the other kind of business is interstate that means in different states okay within the uh, within the state and this will be outside state suppose i bought something from jaipur and i'm selling it here in bangalore so i've changed the state from rajasthan i'm coming here and i'm selling it in bangalore so this is called interstate okay so when the business is intrastate when the business is intrastate when the business is intrastate or we can say within the state okay the tax is divided in two equal parts okay whatever will be the gst whatever will be your gst whatever tax you have got that is divided in two equal parts half will go to the central government and half will go to the state government half will go to the central government half will go to the state government so suppose if i give that 18 percent is my rate of gst so 9 percentage will go to the central government 9 percentage will go to the state government okay then if the tax is interstate that means within outside the state if i'm doing the business outside the state so in that case only one igst is collected and this is submitted to the central government okay igst is submitted to the central government and then accordingly central government will be distributing to the different states okay so whenever the diff whenever the the business is being done within uh, within inside the state only then you will have two shares one is cgst half goes to cgst half goes to sgst when the tax uh, when the business is being done within two different states with uh, is uh, the sorry the trade is being done with between two different states in that case the whole tax but you don't know na, whether the tax must be submitted to the uh, to uh, state one government or the state two governments so what we'll do we'll collect an igst that is integrated here i stands for integrated integrated gst and this whole is collected by the central government and later central government distributes it with their own part where we are not concerned about here okay then ipc input tax credit so remember this thing whenever you have to find out about gst payable gst how much gst is payable gst or we also call it the net gst it is equal to output tax minus input tax okay minus input tax so suppose i am a dealer okay i am a dealer when i am buying something from wholesaler when i am buying something from wholesaler i bought this bottle from the wholesaler i am a dealer so i say paid 10 rupees to the wholesaler i paid 10 rupees to the wholesaler as gst that 10 rupees the uh, that that 10 rupees the wholesaler will submit it to the government okay so let's say here is the wholesaler here is the dealer and here is your consumer so by while doing this let's say rupees 10 as gst i have paid already as a dealer so this 10 the wholesaler will submit it to the government and when i sold it to the consumer let's say the consumer has paid rupees 20 as gst so rupees 20 is the uh, gst which i have collected from the consumer so this will be my output tax which i have collected and the tax which i have given to the wholesaler will be my input tax 
so now the net gst which i have to give to the government the net gst which i will provide to the government will be output minus input that is 20 minus 10 which is rupees 10 only so i will only pay rupees 10 to the government because i have told you at the starting only gst is a consumption based tax system so the one who will consume so who is consuming the consumer consumer is consuming so the 20 rupees which the consumer has given to the dealer the government has got but at different stages 10 rupees from the wholesaler 10 rupees from the dealer but the whole 20 rupees the government has got whole 20 rupee consumer has paid the dealers will not pay any tax okay the one who will consume it only will pay the whole gst got it so this is the whole concept behind the topic gst okay one more thing the ntsc uh, the, the ntsc course uh, the ntsc jagannath in youtube it has been started so it has started from 21st december the link to the sessions is over here vdnt.in slash vos go to this link you this is the youtube link you will go there you will find out all the ntsc sessions it will be very helpful you can cover your ntsc and those who are preparing for ntsc stage 2 very important for all of you okay then comes the next topics that that is your banking so banking is an organization which carrier uh, which carries the business in risk which carrier of business which carries business of receiving safeguarding and lending of money what they'll do their business is of either lend the money or receive the money okay they will either take the money from you or either they will lend you the money so if they are taking money from you and depositing they will give you some interest if they are giving you some loan they will take interest from you so this is how the banks operate okay the characteristics of this banking are receiving money from depositors lending money on demand providing other useful services to the society loan school fee uh, school fees bills taxes everything these are the functions of banking not that much important types of account may not that important saving account current deposit current account fixed deposit this is our important part recurring deposit recurring deposit is there in our syllabus so in this what happens is the depositor choose certain amount of money to deposit every month remember the depositor will submit the amount every month for fixed period okay so the number of months are called n okay this okay number of months are called n this fixed period for however months they are giving that is called number of months then the amount which is deposited every month okay amount deposited every month is called a principal amount which is denoted by p okay time period may vary from three months to two years uh, to 10 or more years anything it can be the rate at which the interest you will be getting is called r okay so this is the part over here you will be submitting it for depositing the money for some fixed amount of time okay but and you cannot get the money uh, in between you have to complete suppose if you have taken the recurring deposit account for one year you have to keep submitting say rupees 5000 every month so you have to submit rupees 5000 every month to the bank and at the end of one year you will only get the money not before that okay so the maturity value calculation how will you do it the so first thing is interest your interest is calculated by doing p into n into n plus 1 by 2 into r by 12 into 1 by 100 okay this formula is not written correctly over here that is why i'm writing it in the correct form okay so this is the interest which you will be getting it and if you want to find out the maturity value that means the final amount which the depositor will be getting that is how much money he has deposited so p every month number of months is n so p into n is the money deposited by him plus the interest these are the only important two formulas in this whole chapter all the questions will be done from this chapter only all the questions will be done from this chapter got it beta so this is all in this case if you want to register for vedantus pro subscription the link is mentioned in the description box the coupon code is gpe pro once you apply this coupon code these will be your prizes and remember these prizes includes maths physics chemistry biology sst and english so if you want to learn from all your favorite master teachers Vedantu is a great place for you or your learning you can join the courses the class the course is pretty much affordable so those whoever are up can afford the course you're more than welcome to join Vedantu's pro subscription okay, beta. so this is all so do watch these videos in the end moment if you want to revise all the chapters quickly and uh, please don't forget to like the video if you have loved the session share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new here thank you so much i'll see you soon bye bye sign up with office to all of you bye bye